This presentation is about what happens to glass when you mix it with sodium hydroxide and heat it up. Sodium hydroxide, also known as caustic soda or lye, is a metallic base that at room temperature is a white crystalline odorless hygroscopic solid. The sodium hydroxide solution appears as a colorless liquid. Sodium hydroxide is used to manufacture soaps, paper, and even explosives. However, sodium hydroxide is a very strong base and therefore very corrosive to some metals like aluminum and zinc, tissue and other materials like glass. Let's focus on glass. Glass is made out of silica also known as silicon dioxide. When concentrated sodium hydroxide, which, which is a strong base, and the glass are mixed and heated up, the glass is consumed because the silicon dioxide in the glass reacts as a weak acid with the sodium hydroxide to form sodium silicate and water. While sodium silicate, also known as water glass or liquid glass, has its own use. The topic today is how this reaction is actually used in an application in the etching of glass. In a heated liquid mixture, the sodium silicate dissolves away leaving only a hole in the glass. However, with the right amount of sodium hydroxide exposure and heat applied, this can create a frosted effect on the glass. When glass is exposed to hot sodium hydroxide for long, it has a tendency to freeze. It essentially gets damaged, making the glass frosted, but does not break completely. This can look quite beautiful and therefore a market for it was born. The same effect can be made with other compounds like hydrofluoric acid. However, even though hydrofluoric acid is considered a weak acid, it is one of the most dangerous inorganic acids known and it's very hazardous to handle. So we should stick with alkali metal hydroxides like sodium hydroxide. They are ideal for this reaction because the product will not be transparent. There will be a wider frosty substance that will not be removed.